morning. Morning. Great to be around this morning. I um, hope you've been having a great weekend. It's a privilege to be coming to you live again this morning. So, hey, uh, happy Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Hope you all had a great Anzac Day. Let us know what you've been up to. We've been making some poppies, a large variety, and we also went and stood at our gate at 6 o'clock yesterday morning yeah. and got to see some of the neighbours that we don't know and listen to the service together from a distance, of course. And that was loads of um, loads of fun to get to meet some people. Not that we really met them, but it was great to just be together and experiencing Anzac Day, even though we're apart. So let us know what you've been up to for Anzac Day. Hopefully someone's been baking some Anzac cookies. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do today. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that, having a crack at, um, well, letting the kids have a crack at making me some Anzac biscuits. That sounds delicious. Uh, also, uh, pretty common knowledge, but we're moving into level three Whoa. lockdown this week. So, yay! yay! Sounds like not a lot changes. So, uh, boo. Uh, <laughs> you can get some KFC if you want. That. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What's the what's the deal? It's uh, level four, but with takeaways. So, uh, really, really cool. Um, nice to see we're making progress in all of that anyway, and, and, and that's pretty awesome. So, hey. Really looking forward to after the service this morning uh, doing our City Cafe via Zoom. So hopefully you would have got an email about that uh, throughout the course of this week with some details on there. If you really are struggling with, oh man, I'd like to join in with that, um, even give us a message live on Facebook and we'll, and we'll figure out a way of getting you some details. Um, but just looking forward, 11 a.m. after the service, just getting together on the Zoom platform on the on the on the computer screens and having a bit of a catch up with everyone. At least we'll get to see uh, all of your beautiful sh smiling faces, and that'd be really really nice. So that'd yeah, be cool. awesome. Just a reminder, we are coming to you live. Last <clears> week we, we thought we were being really clever and doing city live, but we got it wrong. So it's actually <laughs> city live, Great. so not city live, as we said last week. Uh, it's great to see Michelle and Israel and Mel and Suze uh, bringing yeah, us on. worship each week. Who's loving that? You know, uh, me and the kids were listening to Israel and Michelle the other day while we were getting lunch ready and singing along. And then Judah says, hey, isn't that Israel? I said, yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's great just to, to be able to worship with people we know. So I encourage you, if you haven't checked those out, check them out. Just play them sometime. They're awesome. We love you guys. Yeah, Thanks for that. On. Yeah, big big shout out to Israel and Michelle this morning. Thanks so much for leading us on worship. It's such, such a powerful thing to do and you do it so uh, very, very well. So I really appreciate that. If you haven't checked that out already, um, Check it out on our uh, on our website, on our Facebook page, and you'll see us and Michelle uh, leading a few different sessions of worship that are, that are up there now. Uh, but also a big shout out to Phil and Linda and the whole kids team. Love what you guys are putting together, by the way. And again, if you haven't checked out any of that stuff, get on the Facebook page, check out the kids' videos. I, I think they're entertaining, not just for the kids, but for everybody. Um, I loved last week's episode. We had um, a guest... Um, speaker for, for kids ministry, Pastor Jared Van Burkle from out at um, Rangiora. Um, but I love the, 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 the Lego animations and <coughs> the stories and, and everything that was a part of that. Phil and Linda, just, you guys do that so, so well. So, so great to have you part of the family and I hope you're having a great Sunday this morning. So welcome to everybody who's, who's tuning in as well uh, from near and far. Uh, Andrew and Andrea, so great to see you as a regular um, contributors to our live stream. Love you guys. Miss you heaps. Looking forward to when you're coming back, by the way. Um, but just before we go this morning and hand over to, to Carol, who's going to bring you an amazing message this, today, um, just want to, just you know, again, continue to present the opportunity that we have to you know, give around tithes and offerings. Um, and, and, you know, just the whole idea that even in the midst of crisis, continuing to acknowledge God, continuing to trust in Him as our provider and our protector, is, is one of the key things that we get to do as believers. So you can uh, give uh, online via um, bank transfer or there's, a, there's another platform on there now we've got called Tidely if you're looking to be able to do that. But I uh, just want to bless you this morning and I uh, hope that you have an amazing day. Looking forward to catching up with you via Zoom at, at our City Cafe after the service. So Yay. amen. I'll catch you guys later. Yay. Hi guys. It's me. Oh, that's a good idea. Judah's going to move that. Thanks, Judah. Hey, it's great to be here with you guys. What have you been up to? 
I have been up to so much at home, of course. Um, I've been doing some study. I'm on my about fourth online course, which is pretty exciting. Been downloading some books. There seems to be a lot of really cool books around that are free or you can download for a dollar. So I've been gathering a lot of those. This week, um, we got some new puzzles. The first day of lockdown, I went out and got a puzzle for the kids. I thought, this is a great idea to fill in time, right? Who likes puzzles? Puzzles are fun. And uh, the kids did that day one of lockdown. So it wasn't as time consuming as I thought. And, uh, and sorry, distracted. And, but now we've found some new puzzles at New World. So if you're looking for puzzles, New World have a thousand piece puzzles. Thanks, honey. And, um, so that's great, and so I've got the kids to be uh, looking for all the corners and the, the edges of the puzzle. Because, And I was thinking the other day, isn't it interesting, I think we must get taught as children to find all the edge pieces of the puzzle to put it together. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know if anyone's ever tried to do a puzzle from the middle working out, but I feel like that would be really hard. And as I was helping the kids sort through the pieces the other day, looking for all those edges, I just thought, you know, life can often be a lot like a puzzle you know if you don't have the framework if you don't have a proper structure um, then it's hard to see what the picture really looks like and a pers perspective can get a bit skewed and I think that's what life can be like when we don't look to God first to see the bigger picture so today I want to share with you uh, one of my favorite scriptures it's out of Philippians Philippians 4 verse 6 it says, be anxious for nothing, but in all things with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, make your requests be known to God and his perfect peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And I love this scripture and it's one that I quote sometimes maybe if I'm getting up to speak and I've been a bit distracted or haven't had time to think just before I get up, you know, often when you're getting up to speak in front of a lot of people, you can get a bit nervous and uh, I just declare the scripture, even quietly to myself, and I, I receive God's peace that surpasses all understanding. I love that scripture. And so I just want to look today, I've got four points I'd like to look at out of that scripture. And the first one is anxiety. Uh, you would have seen last week, Gus did a great message about anxiety. And uh, if you didn't get to see that, check out our Facebook page or it's on our website linked through to our YouTube channel and you can watch about that. But anxiety is actually a really, um, really common at this time. And it, it's not that it's abnormal to be anxious because of, obviously we've found ourselves in this strange situation where, um, where, you know, things are totally different and that's really distracting me right now. Don't you love live TV? Um, we found ourselves in a situation that can cause anxiety. I remember day one of the lockdown, just feeling really emotional. We got to see Michelle and Israel just before the lockdown, uh, the night of, and I just remember feeling quite emotional and thinking, this is really strange. I'm not sure why I feel this way. But when we find ourselves in a situation that's so unfamiliar and so unknown, it causes so many emotions and anxieties uh, within us. Uh, I love what the Passion Translation says. It says, don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. The Bible tells us in Proverbs, Proverbs 12, anxiety in the heart of man causes depression. You know, it's normal to be anxious, but we don't want to operate out of a place of anxiety. We don't want to dwell in that place because it causes depression and gets us down. So instead of um, worrying about things and stressing about things, God wants us to give them to him. You know, and it helps us create a bigger picture of what's going on around us. 1 Peter 5 says, Cast all your cares upon God because he cares. Amen. So if you find that you're struggling during this time and you're really just finding it difficult, I encourage you, uh, contact us. We've got some counsellors available online. We've got people who can do Sozo online. If you don't know about that and you'd like to know more, check out our website because we're here for you if you need help at all. Let us know. Amen. Point number two today is prayer. Prayer and supplication. Supplication is making a humble request to God. Praying. You know, I don't know about you. You might have heard people before say, I just don't have time to pray. I'm too busy. Wow, that's definitely not a problem today, is it? <laughs> and I wonder how many of us are making the most of the time and establishing some good habits. 
I think it's a great opportunity to a great opportunity to establish some great habits and in regard to prayer maybe health each day I try and make sure that I make time to pray to read my Bible to go for a walk what are the things that are really important to you that you'd love to establish because this is a great opportunity to do it create some good habits I've been declaring things every day I've got a book of declarations and I've really felt prompted to just start declaring God's promises at the start of each day what are those things that you are hoping to establish? And I encourage you, make habits that are sustainable at this time. You know, if you don't normally get a lot of time to pray, think about it now and make time like in the morning to pray. Every morning I'm going to pray, every night, whatever works for you. But I'm saying make them sustainable. So I mean, maybe if you go for a walk and pray in the afternoon, that might work now. But when you're back at work, or when you're back to a different sort of life as we progress in these levels is it sustainable is it something that you'll continue because this is a great time to make great habits that will last for a lifetime Amy and I encourage you pray and you know prayer is a great time to judge where you're at you know sometimes when we're praying I don't know about you but I find that I'm saying things and I think wow I didn't even realize I was thinking that until I said it out loud and it's a good place to hear your internal dialogue. What are the things that we're confessing? What are the things we're declaring? You know, give those worries to God in prayer because God will make a way. Amen. Point number three is thanksgiving. Psalm 100 says, We enter God's gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Thanksgiving is an entry point to get us closer to God. Thanksgiving turns a perspective. It's a great puzzle piece that guides us. You know, you can't be fearful and be thankful at the same time. Sometimes it's hard to see the things that we're thankful for in times like this. So I encourage you, why don't you today make a list of things that you're thankful for? Sometimes uh, you have to dig a little deeper. Maybe start small. Maybe you could start looking at the situation you find yourself in and turning those things around to be thankful. Maybe you're homeschooling lately. Any homeschooling families? It is full on. <laughs> but it's awesome. So thank God that teachers are providing material for us, you know. Thank God that our kids are at home and they're safe at the moment, you know. That God's put a government in place that is making wise decisions on our behalf. Thank God that it's a beautiful sunny day. Hopefully that's true where you are too. I suppose Andrew and Andrew, it's a nice night, hopefully. <laughs> Amen. Psalm 69, 30 says, what does it say? <laughs> I will praise the name of God with a song and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. You know, when we praise God, when we worship him, it magnifies him. It makes him bigger in the picture than the noise of everything else. You know, I don't know about you, but the last four weeks I've been listening to all the news updates and I think it's good to be updated and to be informed, but we're just being bombarded with all this information and a lot of it is quite negative. And so it's good to have a balance. It's good to make sure you put God in your picture. So a great way to do that is praise and worship. When you praise a song of thanksgiving, you magnify God, you enlarge him. And as I said before, you know, I just love listening to Mel and Suze and Israel and Michelle because you can find a worship song anywhere online, which is awesome. But it's great to worship with their friends and family. So I encourage you, sing a song of praise, especially if you get to find yourself in a situation where you're struggling at all. Just put on some worship and see the atmosphere shift in your world. Amen. And point number four is God's peace. John 16, 33 says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And that's Jesus speaking. He knew that there'd be trouble in the world, but trouble is not a place. It's not somewhere that we need to dwell. You know, we know there's stuff going on and, it, and it's good to be aware. It's good to follow, you know, the guidelines that are set out for us by the government and follow the rules, so to speak which is really important to keep safe, but we don't need to be consumed by it. This is a great opportunity for us as Christians to just um, be the light of the world. The Bible tells us we are the light of the world. 
And in order to be the light, we need to see the light. So it's important to have a good perspective. And the only way we get that is by looking to God, by seeking him in our situation. Second Peter 1, 2 says, Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. God wants us to have peace. You know, in the Psalm, Psalm 29 says, The Lord will give you strength to his people and the Lord will bless his people with peace. Peace is a blessing that God wants us to have. God wants us to walk in his peace and to have that assurance that no matter what storms are going on in our life, we can sleep, we can rest, we can be refreshed and revived and we can be the light. Amen. So today, I'd love to pray for some people just as we wrap up. And first of all, I'd like to pray for anyone who's listening today who maybe doesn't normally go to our church or doesn't go to any church and maybe you don't know Jesus and you're not sure about what it is to receive his peace. And I'd love to say a prayer with you today. Uh, it's a short prayer and you can say it out loud now if you've got people with you. You can look at it and say it later, anytime. And the words aren't specific, so just the general gist is what we're wanting here, okay? So if you can, pray it with me. Father God, I ask your forgiveness of all my sins and I invite you to come into my life, to be Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you've prayed that prayer and you need some guidance or some help with that, you want some follow-on, we've got some great uh, resources on our website. Check it out. Uh, send us a message if you want some more information. We'd love to connect with you and just get to know you better. And today I'd love to pray for you if you're watching. So let's pray. I just pray for every person watching, every family. I, Lord, just declare your blessing over them. I release your peace, your perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. And I give thanks, Lord, whatever situation they're going through, Lord, that they wouldn't be anxious, that they wouldn't worry, whether it's in regard to their work, whether it's in regard to health, Lord, that they would know without a doubt that you are in control and that when we don't worry, when we pray, and when we are thankful and grateful, your peace comes upon us. And I release that perfect peace afresh for each one. I declare your blessing and your favor at this point today onwards in Jesus' name. I just feel like God's wanting to bring healing. If you're at home and you're in need of healing, I just release healing. God is a God that heals. He heals. And whether you've had prayer before in the past or never at all, I just feel like even as you're sitting at home, I just sense that God is just bringing healing to people right now. I feel like someone's uh, knee, someone's had problems with their knee, possibly their left knee. I feel like God's just uh, bringing a real warmth and a heat there and I see healing happening. Thank you, God, that you are a God that heals. I want to encourage you, if you have any prayer requests or any prayer needs, let us know. We got sent through a couple of prayer requests last week and just heard back from Natalie. Uh, yesterday, there was a video from her and uh, she's received answer to her prayer. So it's awesome to hear what God is doing. If you've uh, had answer to prayer as well, let us know. We'd love to um, just celebrate what God is doing. Amen. So we're going to catch up real soon in a Zoom cafe. We're going to leave you with a song and we look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless.